Diamond, his favorite banker. So what's stay there? I want to hear about that because you were reporting on this first. Now it's just confirmed they all committed crimes. No one's got in trouble. MF Global, John Corzine. I want to look at it all, then get into the latest breaking news you've got and Exxon Valdez, new breaking news there on the anniversary. We're going back to Greg Palace in a moment to get into all. He's always got a bunch of breaking news at gregpalace.com and tie it into the 25th anniversary of Exxon Valdez, the BP spill, and other stories he's hot on the trail of. Uh, but first off, remember, this hour is brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex to find all their best specials. They've got a lot of great preparedness items, a lot of the same ones we carry, because we only carry the best. We've got the survival seed banks, the live straw, all of it discounted. Uh, and they've got other things there on the site uh, as well. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex or 866-229-0927, non-GMO, organic and they're just great patriots, great customer service, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. And then finally, we fund our operation with high quality products, not even so much with sponsorship. I like to go the way of just knowing that we promote the best gravity fed filters out there. The Pro Pure 2.0 G2 cuts out the glyphosates, uh, you know, the cancer growing chemicals that uh, are given to us by the loving Monsanto, the fluoride, all of it. And the Pro Ones blow away all major gravity-fed filter competition. And we carry some of the other brands as well. I'm just telling you for the price, Pro One is the best deal on the site. It's what I use. Infowarsstore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. You don't just get clean water that's so essential to everything. As General Jack T. Ripper says and Dr. Strangelove, they're trying to corrupt our precious bodily fluids. I'm being sarcastic, but I'm not. The point is, is that you can go to the site, get a great deal on great filtration systems, and make the show possible. All of this is because we started to build it and you came. And it's not about left, it's not about right, it's about liberty, it's about truth, it's about justice, it's about what's the reality geopolitically? What's the reality culturally? What's the right thing to do? What will bring us prosperity and real sustainability? So again, we have the Wake of America coffee. It's probably 15 years ago that I started drinking Chiapas coffee. And then I found suppliers down in southern Mexico directly to the farmers, the Chiapas farmers up in the mountains, the organic, volcanic grown. And leading coffee like this is 30, 40, 50 percent, sometimes double. I know the Starbucks has the same coffee from Chiapas, and it's about double the cost of what we have it per pound. We have two different blends. This is my favorite coffee. It's a strong, bold uh, blend, organic. I like it. Most people get it and say it's their new favorite or they agree it's excellent coffee. We have it for $17.95 a pound and your purchase supports the broadcast Wake Up America Patriot Blend. Jones for it and we have the immune support. Infowarsstore.com takes you to the master shopping cart. It's got all the videos, books, films, you name it. Or you can just go to Infowarslife.com to go to the site that has the coffee, the colloidal silver, the nascent iodine and so much more. Uh, that is so essential to a, he a healthy life. And again, I want to thank all of you that do shop with the good guys at InfoWarsStore.com. You make the transmission possible. So whether it's a Super Mel Vitality, Fluoride Shield, Survival Shield, Silver Bullet, um, Floyd Silver, it's all there. Check it out today, InfoWarsLife.com. Okay, Greg, I've been ranting. I want to give you the floor of the next, uh, you know, 14 minutes or so. I want you to really break down where do you see geopolitically the world? Are things getting better? Is it getting worse? Is the wake up to the banker occupation uh, coming along well? I mean, if this was a football game, Team Humanity versus Team Kleptocrat, where are we? And then I want to tie it into things like the Exxon Valdez, which ties into things like nuclear disasters, uh, like Chernobyl that got covered up, and now the situation with Fukushima. There's this corporate culture of just thinking they can suspend the rules of reality and who cares what happens to everybody, including their children? Well, you got it, Alex. First of all, I'm not too worried. You're here. Uh, I'm here. You're, you're keeping your eye out. And, uh, you know, uh, the world hasn't changed. Uh, you know, we've been, uh, this has been going on since, uh, since Rome, you know, the fight over who controls the coinage. Uh, so, you know, banks, resources, uh, hell, we had fights over uh, uh, whale oil.
a century and a half ago. So, you know, it's, it's back and, you know, it's always going to be back and forth. It's always going to be, you know, patriots and people fighting for liberty versus the guys uh, with, you know, with the big rocks are going to try to break your skull. And that's a general view. But let me go back. Actually, let's put a couple things together. We we're talking just before about the bankers. We have a trillion dollar, trillion dollar fraud, trillion dollar fraud. And again, I say this as a fraud expert, you know, that's what my job was with the Justice Department. Now I'm out as an investigative reporter for the Guardian BBC. We got a trillion dollar fraud in, in the London Interborough Bank uh, uh, rate uh, scandal, which covers everything from your credit card to your auto payments to your uh, to your mortgage. There's no straight interest rate charged right now. It's a con. It's a fraud, and it's a multi-trillion dollar deal. Now, at the center of it, one of the big centers of it is J.P. Morgan. As I said, Obama calls the head of J.P. Morgan, Jamie Dimon. In fact, when when uh, America, when you and I as taxpayers gave $20 billion to J.P. Morgan in a bailout, and then um, Dimon paid himself a big fat bonus, and everyone screamed, Obama said, Oh, why is everyone upset with Jamie, Jamie Dimon? Why should he be punished? The answer, Mr. President, if you don't know why Jamie Dimon should be punished, then you should get out of the Oval Office. Here's the problem. I'm going to tell you about the Exxon Valdez. I'm going to tell you about the Deepwater Horizon. And that goes directly to J.P. Morgan in the Oval Office. Last week, the Obama administration said that BP, which had destroyed the Gulf of Mexico, operated like a rogue pirate operation, killed 11 men, incinerated them on the deep water horizon. The Obama administration has now said that they can drill in the Gulf. And in fact, they gave them a new tract to drill in the Gulf right near the uh, Macondo well where the deep water horizon sank. Now, why would they do that? Who owns British Petroleum? The answer is J.P. Morgan. So if we're going to bail out J.P. Morgan, if J.P. Morgan is uh, is is our president's favorite banker, as he calls them, then you can't sink BP because that sinks J.P. Morgan. So, you know, people are shocked that that BP. I mean, if you dropped oil and burnt down your uh, your apartment in a building, do you think you'd be get a new lease? That's what they're doing here. Now, let me go back. 25 years to the Exxon Valdez. If you you know watch CNN tonight, they're going to give you a story about how they're going to have Captain Hazelwood on. Now, those who remember 25 years ago uh, today that the Exxon Valdez struck a reef in Alaska, it was all blamed on a drunken skipper named Captain Hazelwood. And he's going to get on tonight and he's going to apologize again. Well, I directed, I was a, d- directed the fraud investigation in that uh, in that case for the owners of the shoreline, the Chugach natives. I have a six-volume report that took me three years of undercover investigation to do. I presented it to the courts. Now, here's the thing. It wasn't a drunken skipper hitting a reef. And even though Exxon's name was on the ship, and I'm not going to let them off the hook, the real culprit in the Exxon Valdez disaster that destroyed a thousand miles of Alaska coastline, the real culprit was British Petroleum, BP. You say, well, what does that have to do with the Exxon Valdez? The answer is, and we just saw this in Galveston Bay yesterday, when a tanker's hit uh, reefs, they go aground. Oil rigs leak, catch fire, pipes break. That doesn't mean that you have to destroy the coastline of Alaska. That doesn't mean you have to destroy the Gulf coastline because you're supposed to have emergency vessels there. You put It's not rocket science. You put rubber around the things called boom, a rubber skirt around the oil, around the stricken ship or a, a rig, and you suck the stuff out with something called skimmers. Look at those pictures in Galveston. When that tanker just hit, they put out 69,000 feet of rubber boom around that thing. They sent 29 ships in to skim the oil. When they build a new building on the edge of a river or a lake, like in Lake Austin and uh, here in uh, Texas, they put rubber booms out around the construction site on the ground and in the water to stop the runoff. Right. So here's what's supposed to happen. Now, let me tell you, here's the story that you'll that you'll love or hate. But this is a story you didn't get about the Exxon Valdez. Forget the drunken skipper fairy tale. Okay, because because first of all, Hazelwood wasn't at the helm. He wasn't like some drunk who ran into a rock. He was asleep below decks, okay? 
The third mate, by the way, Exxon is to blame for another reason, not because of the drunk, because the Raycast radar system had been shut off. And there's a radar was off. It's like a GPS, like a Garmin GPS. But in those days, it wasn't 200 bucks for one. It was $2 million for one. And Exxon didn't want to train people, didn't want to maintain it. So they shut it off. The guy was just look, trying to drive a tanker like Christopher Columbus looking out the window. OK, <laughs> so, so Exxon had turned off the Raycast radar. They'd so he didn't have navigation. He's going through these narrow straits, right. literally <laughs> dead reckoning a giant ship. Dead re exactly. That's what he's using. Dead reckoning, the third mate. And so he slammed uh, into the rocks. Now, now, immediately. Now, the thing is, is that if you looked on paper, there was supposed to be right at Bly Reef, exactly where the tanker hit a whole supply of that rubber boom to put around the ship in case of a disaster. There was supposed to be a containment vessel with the skimmers right where the ship struck. There was supposed to be a 24-hour trained emergency crew right at Bly Island, right where the ship struck.